Okay, YouTube. Uh, today I'm just gonna kind of give you an update on uh, some of the trees and what's going on in the uh, backyard orchard. So let's uh, take a look. Okay, so this is the uh, first uh, cherry tree. It's called uh, Aral Ann and um, cherries are starting to form on there as you can see and it's just all over you really see there's just cherries on this tree we'll go across have you take a look at the uh, bing see the progress in that as well here's the uh, bing cherry tree kind of hard to see but I, I try and zoom in on it so you can see that uh, it does have chars on, on there and there is a lot well, it probably helps if I lift this up so you can see There you are, this is the uh, big, and it's all over. A couple of weeks, it'll start to get red. Give you another review. Um, over here, we have the uh, Macintosh, uh, mostly Macintosh, and it's engrafted. And then you can see over here, it's starting to come out. There's a lot, it's actually a lot this year. Um, I even have a bird nested in my tree this year. Just kind of zoom in on that. I don't know if you can see him. Yeah. Yeah, there's a bird in there for sure. Decided to take up residence in my tree. Um, so, yeah, so... That's the uh, Macintosh. This is a snapshot of the... Um, here. It's just starting to form. It's one of the pairs. I'm gonna take you over here slowly. This is the uh, Asian pear. It's also starting to form. I'll take you out here. This is another uh, pear tree I have here. And let's keep going. And this is the Fantasia nectarines. And I start to see some nectarines starting to form in there as well. If you get a close up from that. Uh, there we are. There we are, right there. I'm gonna come back around. This is the uh, Damson. <clears throat> Plums, there's dams and plums. <clears throat> Let me back up a little bit more. This is the uh, Italian prune plum. I don't know if you can see that, but there are uh, plums on there. There they are, you can see. It goes straight. Uh, this is uh, American persimmon. Um, there's nothing under yet, but it's starting to blossom. Um, I'm going to zoom in on, on, on it. You can see I'm starting to see blossoms on, on, on this. So I figure in a couple of weeks um, this should actually start to blossom. You see fruit on there. All right. So another plum tree. Keep going. This is a pawpaw tree this year. <clears throat> no blossoms yet. Maybe it's too early, I'll see. It's pawpaw, P-A-W, P-A-W. This is the red delicious uh, apple tree so far. And there's apples starting to form on there, right here, zoom in. They'll get really huge, I'll show you this later on. Uh, 
Let's take you in the greenhouse, show you some progress in there. Let me come back outside. Okay, this is the uh, greenhouse so far. Uh, this tree here I've added. This is a kumquat. See here, it's a kumquat tree. Yeah, kumquat. I've actually started to see uh, blossoms uh, starting to form on this tree as well. This is a kumquat. This is the uh, Meyer lemon. This uh, huge tree here is the actual uh, avocado. Uh, yeah, this is an avocado. Let's see if I give you a picture. This is what it, it will look like full grown. Uh, this is avocado. Uh, this is the actual uh, Parmelo uh, grapefruit. And uh, it's still going. It's getting bigger and bigger every day. It's our Parmelo grapefruit. And it will look like pretty much like this. Okay, this is the uh, dragon fruit. So, you know, it's just gone crazy. It's taking over everywhere. It's growing, it's growing, it's growing. As you can see, it just keeps going. It's like everywhere. Um, dragon fruit, it almost tastes like a cross between a kiwi. It looks like this. That's what it looks like, dragon fruit. Okay, this is the aquaponic system. We'll get back to that in a second. I made some trees on this side. Uh, let's start from over here. This is the uh, mango tree. Mangoes are starting to form. Zoom in there. You can see it there. I have another one further on. I'll let you see that later. This is the uh, navel orange. So, uh, well, I cut it back pretty good this year. It was getting too big. Uh, this is uh, the actual uh, miracle fruit. Uh, I cut it back. It's starting to go back. Uh, <laughs> this is what it looks like. It's a miracle fruit. Uh, again, if you eat this fruit, uh, anything that is acidic like lime or lemon will taste sweet. I uh, read up about it, Miracle Fruit, major Mason Tree. I tried it, it works. Uh, I added this, this is a, a ta tangerine. So I had it uh, as a baby and it's really growing really well. Uh, here is another, this is an, another lemon, another kind of Meyer lemon. They look like that. This is what it looked like, full grown. Uh, I think it will produce fruit this year. This is a lime tree. Uh, produce fruit uh, all through the winter. Uh, um, should be blossoming soon again. This is a jackfruit. Uh, I had an issue with uh, uh, spider mites and I had to cut it back. But it's jackfruit. This is, this is what it actually looks like. Uh, this is the, the actual guava. It actually blossomed a whole lot with no fruit. So I'm kind of waiting to see what's going on with this tree. Uh, maybe I need to have another tree to cross pollinate it. I'm not sure, but I'll check up on that. Uh, this other tree is a breadfruit tree. A breadfruit. Um, very uh, common in the West Indies. I think I have a pics of this. This is what it looks like. And uh, it's doing quite well. Here's uh, another mango tree. This guy's doing well. Getting some big mangoes off of it. Maybe I can zoom in on this so you can see. This is a mango going off, uh, off of it. See my, my, if you see my hand size. So, you know, it's getting a fair size now. It's over, I don't know, two inches. Uh, so it's getting quite big. Uh, so that's uh, mango. Uh, there's more over there going. Um, more on that side going. This is another grapefruit tree that I have. And then uh, we get over to the aquaponic stuff. Uh, everything's going well, everything's taking off. Um, getting uh, uh, tomatoes starting to grow. Uh, this is a cucumber that I have. I've been eating uh, cherries off this dwarf uh, cherry tree. These are just herbs that I planted. And I'll take a look at the fish. And uh, as you can see, they're uh, quite, quite, doing quite well. Uh, maybe I could throw something in there. And you can kind of see how crazy they get when they like to feed a little bit. See that? There's a lot in there. They're about to have babies again. I gotta get a side tank. Uh, by about next week, I'll have a whole bunch of fish. I don't know. I'm probably gonna have to give some away. 
so that's the uh, the uh, aquaponic system so far that's inside the greenhouse we'll go back outside take a look this is the actual veggie garden we'll walk alongside here this is the stuff I planted uh, all through I'll take you back here topsy-turvy uh, tomato planters uh, this is the fig tree there's uh, only one here the other two is in the front there's corn there's zucchini uh, herbs again this is a five-in-one apple tree that I have let's take you over here and uh, it's, it's just loaded with apples okay. and this is uh, a five-in-one uh, plum tree okay I'll take you over here and I planted this aspella this is actually uh, an aspella uh, pear tree that's starting to grow okay let's take you back over I'll show you some more trees I'm actually in a process, a buddy of mine is we're kind of doing this interlock locking, uh, interlock brick thing. I'm actually uh, working on a pond. Uh, I started to dig it out, not totally done yet, but I'm gonna have like a koi pond here and then the veggie garden in the back. Should be done next week. I'll give you a video on that. I also have some uh, deep water culture um, project and floating raft system. I'll show you that next, not totally done yet. This is the uh, progress on the actual um, Royal, Royal Gala. This is the Royal Gala. It's just loaded. Loaded with uh, stuff. This is the Royal Gala. Come back around. This is the other uh, pear tree. And uh, it's also loaded with pears on there. It's like everywhere. This is the uh, Arctic Kiwi. I don't know if you remember this tree. This is it. It's starting to form kiwis. I built this uh, support. And this year I'll have a lot of kiwis. So I'm just looking at it. It's just like everywhere. I, I'm seeing blossoms. I'm seeing kiwis starting to form. So I'm um, pretty excited about this year. I'll, get a, I'll have a lot of kiwis to share with a lot of people. Um, the way this tree is producing. Uh, I've never seen it produce this much. Okay. Um, so, this is the actual veg vegetable garden. Um, I have tomatoes, peppers, uh, onions, uh, lettuce, um, and uh, actually my tomato trees are bigger than some because I started this in the greenhouse I did it in for like February which was way too early so they're like they're already bearing fruit so in a couple of weeks I'll have tomatoes much earlier than everyone else so that was kind of cool um, so yeah so this is a progress as um, soon as I'm done everything here I'll come back and uh, I'll give you another uh, view and all the other stuff that I'm working on and then uh, we could see the progress of it so far. Far. Okay? Bye, YouTube.